Now, what do you do when there's a heavy rain? You're driving your car, heading to your destination with passengers with you. Do you make sure that you drive slowly? Do not use your phone. Be aware of your surroundings and be a responsible person because people's lives are in your hands and put your full focus on driving slowly and getting to the safe destination for your safety and your passenger safety. Nope! If you do that, you're pretty lame. You need to take your phone out. You need to be recording everything. Or if you're live, you need to live stream it. And you need to read the chat, speed up and say, fuck it. You only live once and put everyone's life in danger because that is what Mr. Jack did today. Yes, you heard that right. Mr. Jack Doherty got himself into another controversial situation. With the amount of controversy that Jack has been getting himself into over the past couple of years, if I would have got a baby oil, a bottle of baby oil for every time Jack got himself into a controversial situation, I would be Diddy. No, watch out, watch oh. out. Oh. Oh. Fuck, open the door, open the door, open your door. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, Michael. Michael, 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 no f***ing way. Oh my gosh. There's no f***ing way. Michael, here. Michael. Do you have film on that phone too? No. Oh my god. Now, as if putting your leg on the gas and driving fast while you're on your phone isn't dangerous enough, not only for you, though your passengers and the people around you. As if it's not bad enough. He goes to his friend. He wants to, if you pay focus, wants to give the camera to the cameraman. The guy who was bleeding from his face. He was the cameraman. He wanted to give the camera to him first and he realized, oh shit, he's bleeding. Are you okay? He said at one time and he said, yeah, I'm, I'm cool. I'm chill. Without, you know, sit down, calm down. Are you okay? Or do you feel conscious or do you feel anything? He goes on and he gives the camera so he can stand in front of the camera and say, Oh no, my car! Oh my god, my, my whole car! Do you see this chat? Chat, do you see this? Jack, you absolute donkey. You need to sit your friend down. Fuck the camera. Fuck every, everyone. If you want it so bad, you take your camera out and you start recording it. Why? Because you want to be in front of the camera and you want to give a whole reaction because everything is content for all we know the guy might have internal head bleeding he might be unconscious but he's doing the least he deserves is sit down and make sure you're okay before don't stand up there's a fucking victoria waterfall coming from your head and you need to sit down and take care of yourself and make sure you're all right no need for the camera no need to be recording and this doesn't only happen to content creators unfortunately everyone's looking for a viral clip if something horrible happens and they're trying to you know film the whole situation oh my god this guy is dying! No way! He's dying! The guy is on the floor. Help me. All you gotta do is put pressure on my wound. Shut up! I'm trying to get a viral clip! Guys, oh my god, I found this guy bleeding and he's dying. Chat, do you see this? Chat, chat. Everything and everything is content. Now, sometimes we joke about with our friends. Oh, if you, they want to borrow your, borrow your car, for example. You're like, oh, if you crash, when I come to the crash site, I'll be like, oh my god, is my car okay? I won't ask if you're okay or not. But we're fucking joking. A car can be replaced. And the way Jack is treating his cameraman is like he can be replaced easily and he gives no shit. A decent human being, even if they're not close, even if he doesn't know him, would tell him, sit down, do not record, Ambul bring the ambulance, guys. I swear, if he would have like filmed this and be like, yo, guys, oh my God, this happened to me. My car is destroyed, but my cameraman is destroyed as well. Brings the medics and make sure he's taken care of. Jack, you could have literally recovered from all the controversy. It would have all been down the drain and flush and you would come out as a, a new person in people's eyes. But you decided to do what you do best. And just shit on your whole reputation for the thousandth time. You might say, oh, he's 19, 20 years old. He's young and stupid. These shit happen. No, it's not okay. He's 20 years old. 
He's an adult, I repeat, an adult, a person who's responsible to drive a car, who also has a responsibility to take care of the people sitting next to him, literally. Now, thankfully, no other car was involved in this whole crash, but this next part really touched my wires in the wrong way. You guys have anything else you need me to get out of the car? Do you want to take that shit so he doesn't have to? <laughs> you're wait, let him, let him have that, let him have that. Let him have that, and then we can like, can you just... I think you're I was. I oh my God, can, you don't, can you come on here on the phone and yeah. can you come? Just make it look good. Look through here the whole time. Go, go over Michael. You got driver's license with you? Yeah, I got you. You guys, uh, uh, all four of you were in the car? No. no. Now, this is the part which really, really pissed me off. His friend on the white shirt, he had a little bit of decency to be like, yo, you might want to take the camera so he won't have to carry the camera because he's fucking bleeding like a waterfall Victoria shit. And then this donkey goes on and says, no, 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 let him hold it. But then you you hold the other camera so, you know, we can get all angles. And ready? Ready? You, you recording? Donkey! Now I was sitting enjoying my shisha and watching my Netflix show and when I saw this it absolutely boiled my blood and I had to talk about it and thankfully thanks to kick is officially banned and now there's a 50 50 chance if he will stay permanently banned or he will recover just like always every time he gets banned he just his account gets recovered in two three days. Why do I say it's a 50 50 chance because kick is trying to switch things up a little bit according to the reports that came few days ago so the real humans at kick striving to make a real difference what does that mean basically the people behind the whole scene of kick it's uh clear the real humans are toiling away are hopeful of driving positive change across the industry through it all kick staff have slowly but surely have been trying to get lit on things new moderation tools new categories speaking staff out in a vehement disagreement with the actions of vocal Minority updates and comments have been coming thick and fast in the effort to minimize the impact of bad eggs on the platform. Now, having talked with said staff directly sitting down with eight Melbourne based employees from ranging for those on the engineering team right up on the chat with the co-founder and CEO of Kick, Ed Craven, it's clear those working on Kick across platform it's many disciplines all share one common goal so basically according to this report the ceo of kick the people working at kick everyone they're having one goal to just kick out the donkeys from the platform because they've been taking it too far and they want to be normal like twitch and other streaming platforms like youtube for example and i've always said this over the past year every time talking about a kick streamer that this is what happens when you give too much freedom. Now in 2024, it is not a wise idea to give too much freedom to people, even though at the beginning it seemed like a good idea, but people are always going to take advantage of it because, hey, they are untouchable and can they can do whatever the hell they want to do. There was another kick streamer called Schnaggy Hose who got permanently banned. He got banned four days ago and to this day, still he's banned. And what did he do? He was gambling and he lost like, I don't know how much money. But he basically said that he would like to shakalaka boom boom a very very extremely young not a boy or a girl but an infant now this is not a dark humor joke i'm all about dark humor jokes but this is not it this is not funny it's absolutely disgusting and he doesn't need to only be banned for this he needs to be locked up for saying shit like this now jack's been banned and i hope he doesn't get unbanned until he comes to reality that he's not a real life gangster pimp on social media and everyone wants to be like him. No one wants to be like you, Jack. And when it comes to his car, fuck your car. Go check on your camera, man. You can replace your car, but you cannot replace a human being. Even though you don't give a shit about him, I don't even know him, I care about him. And when it comes to his insurance, I hope, I hope that his insurance fucks him with this and doesn't pay the total damage fee. Blames it all on himself and refuse to pay the full amount or if, you know, a 80% portion of the car amount when it comes to that. They need to see this footage and see how he was revving it. He was putting everyone's lives in danger and he was using his phone, reading the chat while driving his car. But anyways, Jack ruined my whole mood watching my show. I was supposed to have a very relaxing night. But anyway, I just wanted to talk about this whole thing. I'm going to go back to watching my shit and do not use your phone driving. Drive slow, be responsible because if I find you... Come, come. If I find you using your phone and driving fast in rain just to look cool, I will 
shut talk you out of this world anyways stay sexy stay safe i'll catch you at the next one